All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Here is where we get you on the grind and improve your mind. So in this video, we're going to talk about the use of language and how we're trying to change it and if it's right or if it's wrong or what's going on with that. So let's find out now. All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to go over a Twitter post that we found as well as an article depicting how we're trying to change language from what it is originally into what we're trying to normalize Keyword is trying to normalize, but it's not really the best idea in my opinion. So let's go into the Twitter post first. So this came from this came from Nerdist. So we're gonna go into a post from Nerdist. It says Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez are bringing Zorro to the CW fire emoji, and then it goes into and this is a quote from is, yeah. from Deadline. It says a young Latinx woman seeking vengeance for her father's murder joins a secret society and adopts the outlaw persona of Zorro. Uh, this conversation is not really whether about a female Zorro, although we could probably talk about it in the future. What we're really trying to dive into in the topic of this video is when they're trying to normalize this word Latinx. Now the purpose of this is to try to make certain people feel 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 better about using the masculine and feminine conjugations of the word Latino or Latina. So the, the original language is Latino for men, Latina for women as everyone knows. Now, what some people, especially like more liberal leftists, it seems, people are trying to do is change the language of these two terms and fit it into one for a more gender-exclusive term for the language. I think this is bad, personally, because we're trying to alter a language that once was to fit a certain culture, maybe narrative, it seems, and the way they're trying to do it is making posts like these when they take the two words and they combine into one and they act like it fits nothing. I believe it's made up. I don't know where they're getting the X from or whose idea this was and why this is trying to be implemented. But I think it all goes back to the certain uh, world that we live in now. We try to take certain languages and try to alter them to make people feel better and facts supersede your feelings. So even well, as we'll go into the comments, even Latinos and Latinas who see this are not even a fan of this because they know that they're just trying to be appealed to by other forces and it's not necessary. The first comment I've seen is from someone who says, progressive Americans crying over how imperialistic the U.S. is, then unironically labeling Hispanics Latinx against their will is peak comedy. Can't make this stuff up. Agreed, Nick. Agreed. Yeah. So... There's just a whole bunch of weird stuff. And then someone's saying, weird how many Latinos say uh, Latinx is a racial slur, but the media uh, and companies think this sells. Yeah, that's another part is probably, I think some media and some companies are trying to appeal to certain masses by using terms like that and altering language, as we know it, just to try to get more money, which is wrong. You're trying to appeal to the wrong types of people. Yeah. And it's going to backfire in your face. And People can tell that it, it is inauthentic, especially as a company trying to snizzle their way into some extra dollars. Yeah, and, and that's what happened with the Mr. Potato Head stuff. Because if you remember that, I think that was what, last year? That happened in 2021 where whoever makes Mr. Potato Head pretty much was getting rid of the Mr. part and it was just Potato Head and they were getting rid of the Mr. and Mrs. And yeah, it was we'll just going to be... Yeah, of that in the yeah, there, it was just going to be that whole... You know, that whole debacle that happened, you guys were there. You guys saw all this, and it was very stupid. And then they reverted back. We have a video on this. Yeah, yeah. and so now we're going to go to a, a post that I found from the internet that's talking about language as well. So I, I guess the government last year, and this is probably where this all stemmed from, was last year... Pandemic the, boredness yeah. conjures up this crap. Yeah, so... The government, the U.S. government in Congress, uh, someone was trying to uh, put through in Congress getting rid of the word, the terms like father, daughter, son, brother, mother, son, whatever, and pretty much getting rid of all the feminine masculine terms and also getting rid of like the words where it would be instead of a mailman, it's a male person, instead of a seaman, it's a seafarer, or what. It seems like everything with the word man they're trying to take out. This is the world we live in. We really do live in an emotional-based, feelings-based reality. People are doing some just some crazy things, and we're trying to alter things that don't need to be altered. It's like we really are bored as a nation. We're bored as an entire species right now. Like We really have nothing to do than, than come up with this crap. So people are using this Latinx or like using the 
trying to use the get rid of the O or an A in, in specific names or whatever to pretty much give it that gender neutrality, whatever that means, uh, because men and women are different, that doesn't exist. But they're trying to do that to make everyone feel better. And they use X, they specifically use X, I'm pretty sure, because X is like a placeholder. So think of X as like something like, an, if you remember algebra, I know you hate algebra, uh, that X is, would be the thing that you would have to solve for. And so it's funny that they do that, but it's just use the O and the A. I know people are going to... So basic like language arts, third grade, like and second grade. And people grade. are trying to create this from nothing, but it means nothing. Number one, it really doesn't, it shouldn't even bother us because it doesn't matter, but we're going to say the words, you know, we're going to say uh, man, woman, daughter, brother, sister, uncle, you know, we're going to say these words all the time and it's, no one's going to like not say these words and they're trying to change it and they're trying to force it upon us and everyone's going to still say the same things because we've been saying it forever and regardless of anyone's feelings, it doesn't matter that you are hurt because that someone called you a man or someone called you a brother or something. I don't have met it someone doesn't... whose feelings are being hurt by these words. Like, this is some made-up garbage propaganda that the news will probably be telling you. Once again, this is why you should stay off the news. You can watch our videos on that. But, guys, you, this is it, it's garbage, really. It, altering the English language can be a dangerous thing. And you have to really ask yourself, why would someone try to alter the language of English and try to create all these terms and words. You know, I think that's how, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, people in the comments, but the the people who created the word like partner, you know, compared to like uh, wife, husband, I think that was created by, it might have been by like uh, more liberal-ish persons who were trying to create a more gender neutral language, it seems. So that way saying partner would be easier or would be more, less harmful than saying husband or wife or something like that. I'm not really sure, but it's just something to think about. Yeah. I mean, I don't like, I don't mind if they put add partner to like the list of things to choose from, as yeah. long as they don't remove husband, wife, etc. Mm -hmm. yeah, so and all be, applicable. so if it's all just applicable, I feel like it's fine. I feel like that's okay. I feel like in, in if you use your rational brain and use this, you can just be okay with knowing that you can click. Oh, I have a wife. Let me click wife. Or, I have a husband, let me click husband. Oh, I technically, I don't have either a wife or a husband. I have someone, that, but I'm, you know, whatever, so I will click partner. It's, it's, it's not that hard, but, like, seeing just, okay, so let me go, and then I don't see wife or husband. I just only see partner. I'm like, what is this? Like, that doesn't make sense. I have a wife, so let me choose wife. As long as it's all there, but at the same time, don't force these things where you can just add them and it'd be fine. The thing with the Latinx... And the other types of things like uh, mailman or, or male person gives a shit. Just it's a mailman. It's it's we've always had a mailman. We've always had a milkman until they stopped doing that. <laughs> but the thing is, is that it, it it will always be a person. But it's the title is that. And who cares if you are not a man and you're doing that because and you think that it's wrong that you are a mailman, but you're a woman. And that you want to be a male woman or a male person. It's just annoying to have to say more words. It's just easier to just say mailman. You're trying to start a battle that doesn't exist. And it makes no sense. So with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on language. And we will have some more videos probably on stuff like this very soon. <clears throat> yeah, let us know your thoughts and comments below. Get the algorithm going. Make sure you hit the like the video if you have not already. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. It really helps us out. We're rising stars, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Wait.